Welcome back, friends. Thanks for stopping by and watching another ARFCOM ballistic test. I've heard a lot of folks are choosing Kalashnikov pattern rifles and pistols for home defense lately. Does that seem like a lot? Do rifles penetrate too much for defense? Is that overkill? If you pick an AK for home defense, are you crazy? You, Mallory, might be kill us, but not insane. Now you find folks out there in TV land already know how I feel about the shoddy craftsmanship and inferior ergonomics of communist weapons, but one thing those godless Soviets got right was the 762 by 39 millimeter cartridge. Well, I mean, it is kind of mediocre in its intended role when loaded with full metal jacket projectiles, but it's a straight beast when loaded with pretty near any expanding projectiles even cheap Russian soft point. So with quality, American, polymer-tipped expanding ammo, we should expect even better performance, right? What do you think? Let's put facts before feelings and shoot 762 by 39 millimeter Winchester 123 grain deer season XP into calibrated 10% ballistic gelatin. What do you think? Will it penetrate too deeply? Not enough. Will Mulder and Scully ever kiss? That's pretty good for commie ammo. So there is no neck at all. That was immediate expansion. Big, huge temporary stretch cavity with a fair amount of fragmentation in it. You can see some of this temporary stretch cavity. Oh no, that's a bit of a fragment that exited right here. Total penetration in a straight line is 14.8 inches, curves a bit. My tape measure isn't gonna do that very well. <laughs> Dig around in here and see if I can get a hold of it. Oh, I don't want to, don't want to break it up. That looks gorgeous. So it's not going to be perfect weight retention. Got a bunch of boogers all over it. Oh. <laughs> So it looks like it was pretty close to losing its jacket, but otherwise it stayed together. Expanded big, huge temporary stretch cavity. Fair amount of fragmentation in there. That is, that's just about perfect. It doesn't get much better than that without, without a bonded bullet or something. Okie dokie, before we get to the analysis, in full disclosure, Winchester is our ammo sponsor for review videos, but they do not sponsor these gel tests. They did provide this ammo. Still, I think the data and the high-speed video speak for themselves, and we're not seeing anything here which is inconsistent with other similar weight expanding ammo in this caliber. In the past, we also tested Hornady Black 123 grain SST and Barnall 125 grain soft point. We'll throw the data and the links down there in the description, but suffice to say the performance in those cases was similar to what we got here. In short, it was outstanding. The penetration is dead in the middle of the ideal range for defense ammo. 
The FBI recommends at least 12 inches of penetration to reliably reach vital organs, even with an oblique or obstructed shot. I've heard some people repeating this idea that the minimum penetration standard only applies to pistol ammo, and I gotta say that's ridiculous. I think this idea got passed around because the 12 inch minimum was first published in the paper Handgun Wounding Factors and Effectiveness. But the reasoning for their recommendation was that they studied thousands of real world OIS incidents and found the single biggest factor determining whether a fight was stopped in a timely manner was whether a projectile had passed through vital organs. The bad guy's organs don't rearrange themselves based on whether you're holding a rifle or a handgun, so the penetration standard doesn't change based on whether the projectile is fired from a rifle or a handgun. But this load penetrates right to the sweet spot of 14 to 16 inches. It expands immediately and bigly and produces a positively cavernous temporary cavity. Some people might say the penetration is a little bit shallow for deer hunting, except for maybe some of those stunted little Texan deer, but the penetration would improve with distance because at lower speeds, the projectile fragments a little bit less, holds a little more mass, and drives a little deeper. What do you think? Is 15 inches suitable for deer hunting? Is it crazy to use an AK for home defense? Comment below, comrade. Do you guys like watching gun-related content on YouTube, or do you want stuff like this to fade off into the sunset as our robot overlords cleanse the earth of all wrong things? If you guys do like watching banger content like this, please help support it by supporting our sponsors. Without them, we couldn't make these videos. And if you're wondering why you don't see more of this channel or other gun-related wrong think, Maybe it's because YouTube unsubscribed you. Our viewers have been telling us they keep getting unsubscribed even though they never even touched that button. So, while you have the time, please double check and make sure that you ring the notification bell as well so you never miss an episode. I love you.